I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And today we're going to be talking about how will my ex reach out? Right. This is a very common question and I know that there are always a lot of new people that are finding my channel. So I thought it would be good to bring this up again and share it. And it's so funny because when I was looking at the topics, this is one of the ones I had in the back of my mind today and literally probably an hour or two before I was writing out the videos, someone on my Instagram sent me a message about you. this. Talk they, about the universe. They heard you over the airwaves. They yes. did. We tell you guys this happens it's all airwaves, the time. airwaves, we swear. Um, one of the things that I teach is the indirect, direct approach, okay? In my time of studying breakups and living through breakups, I've realized that people often will do a reach out in a way that is confusing, okay? And I call that the indirect direct approach. The reason I call it that is because they're directly contacting you. They're doing some type of reach out. In other words, it could be a text, it could be a call, it could be something on social media, a message on social media, um, something that is directly contacting you, but they're indirect about what they want. And their intentions are unclear and they're disguising why they're reaching out to you. Not usually very well. Yes. Now, oftentimes, you'll know it's an indirect, direct approach because you'll be confused as to why they've done it. They may contact you about something so ridiculous that you're like, why would they do this? If it's like that, there's a good chance it's an indirect, direct approach. And I've got a good example today. Okay. And this was on my Instagram on one of the funny posts that I put not that long ago. And they said, uh, hi, Coach Craig, you and Margaret were right. I finally got over my ex and started loving myself again. And he sent me an indirect, direct message via Facebook Messenger. We are not friends on Facebook. Okay, so there's part okay. of the confusion right yeah. there. Yeah. They're not even friends. Yeah. Say, of course, that's part of the thing. You're going to be scratching your head. He wanted to let me know, and this is a good one. Mm -hmm. this is, he wanted to let me know his phone is in the shop in case I had messaged him and wondered why he didn't respond. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> After how long? Um, she didn't say how long, but I, I, I got to read this again because this shows you this is what I'm talking about with the indirect message, okay? He wanted to let me know that his phone is in the shop in case I had messaged him and wondered why he didn't respond. Then she goes on to say, this is the guy who ghosted me and blamed his choice to ghost on me. Like you said, it's a disturbance in the force. <laughs> Very good. That's what I'm talking about. How bizarre and confusing would that be if you're in that situation? They're not friends on Facebook. Well, what he's telling her is he keeps waiting for her to contact you. Uh -huh. That's what he's telling her. He's, he's been sitting around looking, right. but sure. he needed an excuse. Yep. And that's his excuse that's his right excuse. there. My phone's in the shop. People don't do this unless they're interested. Right. Okay, it just doesn't happen. And he's, not, be... he's not going to call and say, I miss you. And that is, we're going to get to that in All a right. second. But obviously, one of the first things I wanted to let you guys know is you're never going to expect the indirect, direct approach. No. You don't know when it's going to happen. And like with it happening to her today, totally confused. Right? <laughs> totally like, what? Yeah. You were right. 
But unless you knew about breakups like we do, yeah. you wouldn't expect this to happen, right? Right. Well, how nice of her to let us know. Yeah. Yes. Um, so these things, they just happen like this. Um, you know, people always disguise their interest level. They don't come out and say, that I miss you. It makes you vulnerable. Yeah. There you go. It makes you vulnerable. Yeah. You know, in the, in the movies or on TV or even on the internet, I always see these things about the ex saying, I miss you. And these funny things joking about how the ex says they miss you. I don't see that. No. I don't see that direct of an approach. No. And so I don't buy those things. I mean, I'm sure it happens sometimes, but generally it's more of an indirect contact because they're scared to reach out to you. Yep. Right? They rarely say, I miss you. Um, they are afraid of rejection. Sure. Right. So, um, you know, one of the things that we struggle with with the breakup is the last contact we had with them. Right? We're looking at how we behaved and how we may have, like, been begging and pleading and crying and please take me back. I'll do anything to get you back. Yeah. But you have to realize they don't know how you're feeling anymore. No, they don't. And I think you had a really good point about this. Well, because you could have been numb for a while trying to get over your grief. So mm. they have no idea how you feel now. No idea. Um, so what's she going to do with this? Well, I don't know. She didn't tell me what she wants to do with it. But, you know, just because you were begging and pleading yeah. and coming on so strong at Doesn't one point... Doesn't mean, right, that you still feel that way. Exactly. At all. But oftentimes yeah. we think that they know how we're feeling, mm -hmm. okay? And that they can read our minds. And they can't. No, right. they can't. I've, I have to remind people of that numerous times. Well, they know me really well and they don't. No, they don't. Nobody knows what you're thinking unless you choose to share it. That's right. But because we look at our behavior, mm -hmm. how it was during the breakup, and we see what well, we were so clear about what we wanted, we were so definitive yeah. about what we wanted yeah. at that time, we assume that the ex still thinks we feel the same way. But when they haven't heard from you for a long period of time, they start to wonder and think that you don't want them anymore, too. I don't know any definitive ghosts, do you? Any definitive ghosts? Yeah. No, I don't. No, do you? I think sort of by definition, ghosts are not real definitive. <laughs> they don't say what they want in ghost talk or whatever. No. No. Um, you know, you got to realize that you're confused and you're anxious and you're overwhelmed but that doesn't mean your ex isn't confused, right. okay? All they know is that they wanted to break up with you and how they were feeling. Right. And they know how you felt at that time, but they don't know how you've been feeling since. They don't since. have any idea. They're know. looking at your Facebook. They're looking at your Instagram. They're stalking you too. They want to know what you're up to too. And they want to know if you're moving on too. Because a lot of times somebody will say, I don't want to be with you again. I never want to date you again. I never want to see you again. And then, all of a sudden, all of a sudden. they miss you. They want to see you. They want to, you know, get together. They dip their toe in the pool and they do the indirect approach. Yeah. Like in this one. This is a good example. Your prior favorite was I miss your cat. I miss the cat was a really good one. Um, but I think my all-time favorite was uh, somebody that had gotten a message from an ex they hadn't heard from literally in a year mm -hmm. and they said to them, I just want to say, I hope you have a good day today. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little more direct. Yeah, but I mean, you haven't heard from this person right. in a year and they say, I hope you have a good day today. I thought of you today, so I hope you have a good you day. You see, your exes are so confused that they come up with right. lame excuses to this reach out. This is confusing stuff, yeah. no matter how you look at they it. They don't have this really well thought out plan no. to reach out to you. They're like fumbling and bumbling. Yeah. What do I say? What do I do? Yeah. And then it comes, and then you're sitting there thinking, you thought... Wait, you you just want to <laughs> let me know that I have a good day today? I haven't heard from you in a year. In a year. Why today? 
It's because they're thinking about you and they're hoping you're yeah. going to be receptive to talking with them and seeing where it's going. But a year later, you could say, I've moved on. <laughs> you and could. My tastes have changed. In that situation, sure. the person had moved yeah. on. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's always going to come out of nowhere. It's going to take you by surprise. When you see it, you're gonna, your heart's going to be racing. You're going to be anxious and oh overwhelmed. Oh, my God. Look at who it is. Oh, my God. Stay calm. Don't respond right away. No matter what you do, give it some time to calm down. Calm your anxiety. Take it all in and take it from there right mm -hmm. but there's a good chance that if they're doing anything like this it's because they miss you and they want to re-establish contact with you this right? is a good one though my phone's in the shop yeah my phone's in the shop that is a really good one yeah and they weren't even facebook friends which would make it even more confusing right so that tells me that he had been hoping that she would reach out Right. Even oh, absolutely. The, and then once his phone was gone, he probably messaged her from Facebook from like a computer. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, oh, my gosh, she might reach out to me while my my phone the is gone. The one day my phone is in the shop. And I have no way to re respond. The one day my phone is in the shop, she's going to reach out to me and See? I'm going to miss her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So yeah. he got very anxious, yeah. too. Yeah. There you have it. Right. That's it. how exes tend to reach out and something similar uh, a similar thing to this. Yep. So hopefully that makes it a little bit more clear to you because I know the indirect direct approach can be so confusing. But I can say one thing though. When I think about the people I talk to, almost everyone who has listened to us even a few times knows the term and that's great. Yeah. I'm glad you got it. But we always have a lot of new people on <laughs> yes, the channel so it's great to review stuff yep. like this. So hopefully you found this video helpful and insightful on the indirect direct approach. Of course, when you want to get our help personally, just go to my website, askcraig.net, sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype. Margaret is also available for Skype yes, coaching. Yes, feel free to contact me. Love to hear from you. So just click on Margaret on the top of the website to get with her. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And we will talk with you soon.